Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay. Drop me a comment if you're here. I am broadcasting. My name is Tracy Weinzackel. It's written right here. And I'm live in Art Journaling for Beginners on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And, oh, I don't want to hear my voice. Um, sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Lisa Larson. Jean. Lisa with two S's. Welcome, everybody. So, um, does anybody own their own small business in January and February or like corporate tax time? That's me. So I was just literally cleaning out all of my records. So welcome everybody. Um, every Wednesday I go live and do a free demo. This will be a good way to exhale. Um, I do art journaling as a practice, but I don't just art journal. I always say, especially to my art journaling for beginners friends, art journaling is fun and I love it, but it's so great when you can like work on other surfaces. The other night, your artful journey members, we did just a kind of a cool project. I got a, got a few deets, but this turned out we made the heart anyway that's over there but I'm always encouraging to take your art from in the journal out of the journal to things like this by the way how do you sell this jacket somebody asked me if this was available and of course I don't remember but I didn't want to sell the jacket before the class. And also, now I don't want to sell it because, um, I mean, I'm going to sell it. I don't need a toddler jacket unless my kids have something they haven't told me. And then we're going to have a whole other conversation. But um, I was sent some shoes that I want to match said jacket. These are little kids' shoes. So I, this was sent to me by a company that wants me to paint them for a purpose. So I wanted it to match this and photograph them together. So uh, I don't remember who asked me what I consider selling this 4T jacket. Well, it's a little too small for me. So yes, I will sell it. Tag still on it. It is a brand new jacket. No toddlers have ever worn it. And yes, I do finish it out with little details of little hearts in various places. But if you don't want me to paint your jacket, you don't need to have me paint your jacket. Oh, good. Anne is here. Is Anne here? Anne, are you here? Um, if you don't want me to paint your jacket and you would like to paint your own jacket, um, I am going to do a denim painting class. You don't have to paint a toddler jacket. I am going to paint this from start to finish. I'll have another one done. I think the one I'm doing tomorrow is 5T. So I might have two of these, but I'm doing one in color tomorrow. So if you'd like to join, it's not too late to join. The class is live, but it's recorded and in your portal and you can see it forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, as long as I'm paying the fees on my website, which maybe isn't forever. Anyway. That's what I have to say about that. Hi, Anne. Behind the scenes of Tracy Wines Apple Studios is Anne. Is jean material different than canvas? You can use canvas. I'm using like a textile. You can be on anything. I would suggest jeans just because I'm, I'm going to teach certain techniques that I would do on jeans or denim. Uh, but you don't have to have a toddler jacket. You can get some, a pair of jeans. I know women, if you're anything like me, you have a closet. Now, my jeans are hung on my bottom shelf. And to the right are the ones that I wish I fit in. To the ones are the, 
to the left are the ones I realistically fitted. So sometimes I just go in there and I pick out of the middle and paint uh, some random jeans of mine. So you can paint on anything. You can go to the Goodwill, um, but that class is accessible forever. You don't have to worry about seeing it live. So there, that should answer that question. I think that answers that question. Also, I had, uh, which I'll share today. Um, I have a large order coming in tomorrow. So large that I'm actually a little afraid because they asked if I had a fork left. Um, at the, the delivery location and I was kind of, oh shoot, I should have had it delivered to work. I have a forklift at work and I can operate it. That was silliness. Hmm. I should have just had it delivered to my work. Anyway, um, that made me a little nervous because sometimes they'll bring a pallet jack, but, uh, I ordered art journals. I like to order, but now I'm wondering if I got the quantity mixed up. And instead of ordering like, you know, a dozen and a three pack, I don't know what I did. Uh, I don't know what I did. And, um, but today uh, they delivered the pens, which was maybe even last, it laugh even more. It, many people are asking about the set of black liner permanent pens that I like. I got a dozen of these. <laughs> this was on a separate invoice. I don't know what I ordered. And it'll be coming in. I have a feeling And one time I did this where it was like I ordered five, but I ordered five dozen. Anyway, I love these pens so much too. And it had been a while since I restocked them. So I'll try and use these tonight. I, this is a brand new set. Here's how mine look. I need a brand new set. I have two of them, but then I mix in. I just put stuff in there. I need to start just testing them and throwing them away. So if you're wondering why my pens look like this, and actually they're all going to go in a little pouch. I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing because the lady called yesterday and I'm worried about rain because you really don't want, um, you know, art journals in cardboard boxes. That's why many times you get your orders and I have like a Tyvek envelope. I don't really want anybody's order to get damaged. But I painted this real quick. Watch. I I literally, okay, right here. <laughs> We're gonna make the commitment. They're the best kind, I love them. I don't even know what this is doing in there. Like that doesn't belong in there. It's not in the pen family. So, and then I'll just, I don't believe in keeping anything in its original packaging, but I'm not going to touch this one. But here they are. So, anyway, I was uh, not thinking straight. I don't know what's coming tomorrow, and I'm a little nervous, but it's coming between 10 and 2, and I told them, just go and block my front door and stick it in there, because we're getting so much rain. I don't want anything to get wet. All right, so if you're wondering, wondering, if you're one, if you're wondering, you can go ahead and order those. They're in the site. I only ordered a dozen because I don't know what I was thinking, but I have these now in a little pouch, so that'll be handy. And I'll leave these off the side. All right. Uh, and are you selling the canvas bag? Do you want the blank bag? Or do you want the bag that I just put all my stuff in? <laughs> do you want the bag? I can sell these bags. Oh, wait a minute. I have a bunch of them. Yeah, I have a bunch of them. I'm sorry. I even have a little template that I use. Anyway, do you need the canvas bag itself? I put those in bulk too because I use them and I use them for trade shows and then I give them away. I give everything away. Give it away now. Anyway, uh, does that, I need a cool travel pouch for my paints and brushes. Any suggestions? Oh, the blank bag. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't have them on the website. I can do that. Yeah. 
You guys are way better at my business than I am at my business. I just wish somebody would like just come in and swoop in and say, I can just sit next to you all day long. You know, I'm just going to have to get Anne here. Um, and she's just going to have to sit here and work. All right. Uh, by the way, I'm going to paint. I get about four minutes of chit chat time until we get started and I'll set up my cameras and make sure everything's good. Uh, I will be painting in this art, art journal. I will be painting in this art journal. This art journal is brand new. It's the last one I have until tomorrow when I might have 5,000 of them. <laughs> um, I am going to say a little thing. I keep getting messages about the retreat. Uh, people are asking me about said retreat. Yes, I'm in the works. And Anne's bags are packed. Um today oh listen i'm just happy because i think about the situ i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and just start okay um yes i'm working on a retreat that's no secret and I'm pretty open and honest about things. I don't really want to do a retreat for 500 people. Eh, that's not my thing. Uh, Kelly said, when am I coming to the Bay Area? I need to be asked to come to the Bay Area. This year, I have to tell you guys, I cut back on me wanting to travel and go to places. Why? Because there's a lot of expenses and time and energy and then I'm away from my business that I get asked to go to a lot of places and then I have to figure out, mm, do I want to go? Yeah, I would love to, but I, I need to be asked and there needs to be a store. I can't just show up in the Bay Area and Kelly, hope you show up with me. Uh, there needs to be a, re a reason uh, and I would love to. The Bay Area, I used to go to Flax. Is that the store in San Francisco? Love that store. It's the best store in the whole wide world. Um, but anyway, I'm free. You can offer to... But I wanted to do another retreat, and I am looking at the third weekend in May. I got bids. I got the caterer. I talked to my musician friends today. Like, it's not a retreat. I'm going to call it an experience. And it is going to be a limited quantity. And um, I literally today finished, like, you know, I got to review budgets and look there. I, uh, my photography and it's in my town so things like that are a big consideration when you're planning stuff because then I don't have to ship everything it's going to be in Ramona California so um just put your thinking caps on and I'll let you know that's where I that's where I'm at okay oh what do I feel like painting tonight But it was really fun versus other retreats that I've done where it's like, okay, if you want the dinner with Tracy, I don't want any of that. I want it to be an all-in-one, you know, an all-in-one. Now, somebody did ask, can I send my deposit? Somebody did ask, uh, can't, do I have to stay at the location? No, you don't. I am working that out where you don't have to stay there, Okay. But I really do want it to be, um, I just want it to be an, an experience that, an experience, I mean, literally, the, the, the location in itself is an experience. So, okay. Okay. I feel like mixed media tonight. But I did, I've done that. What did I do last week? Does anybody want to? Oh, that was mixed media. <laughs> I would just love for all of you. And it's, yeah, it's going to be limited. Let me just cleanse my, you guys want watercolors or mixed media? Just. And by the way, I already have two guest teachers that stepped up. One of them is a plain air painter, watercolors. He actually works with Daniel Smith. And right away he said, yes, 
Today, I even said to um, one of my friends, because I the dinner is going to be under under the light by the pond um, with the California sun setting. Also, for those of you who know, I live in a boutique winery area, a winery field trip. You don't have to drink wine. Um, watercolors, great. Okay. Um, oh. I feel like watercolors because that's what I'm getting the most. So, um, just know that uh, from top to bottom, I want it to be an experience. Okay. So let's move this out of the way. <laughs> I just love the red. Red stuff. Woodland. Terrain, Currents, Odyssey. I'm taking these two out of the mix. What is this? Of course, I can use the classic, but. Um, oh, I have to tell you too, I have, um, I have, oh, I think this, sorry, this set's dirty, but it's so pretty. I'm trying to think what colors I'm feeling. Tell me what colors I'm feeling. I don't want to to you. Sorry, this is so disorganized. Okay, one should use a set. One should use a set. Uh, I'm not going to do violets because in your artful journey, we're doing violets. All right, I'll keep this set handy because I always feel like this is imminent. <sighs> I just feel like letting go. Well, let's wet some watercolors down. All right, so this, I am working in watercolors. This is a water, 7 by 10 watercolor book. Uh, this book is available. It's brand new. If you'd like to purchase it, you can. The... the um, Painting will be for free. The painting will be for free. Um, and then you just pay for the journal and the shipping and it's yours. I think this journal is about $15 and some change. This one is the last one I have until tomorrow until I get 52,000 of them because I don't know what's going on. All right. I don't know what I did. I don't know what my order is going to be. Sunset colors, white daisy on a turquoise background. Ooh, we're mixing a lot of stuff. Uh, I'd love to buy the journal. Oh, Angel. Angel, you don't even know what I'm painting. It's okay. I have not, I love to just give stuff away. I realized the other day, I'm giving so much art that my art journals are not becoming thicker and fatter because I keep giving stuff away, but I don't mind. This is what the purpose is. Sunset colors, teal. And I have to tell you, I have a new singer for y'all to listen to. Let me just wet these down. I want to go to you. That's Whitney. Um, this is the, I don't know what this says. This is the terrain set. So we said watercolors. Let me just settle my little, I was just shredding papers. Ah. Hmm. Let's get started. Do you get okay? Somebody said white. Did somebody say a daisy. So that's oh, I know what I'll do. Okay. Let me do this. Oh, yeah, Angel, send your email to support at your artful journey dot com. Okay. Just bear with me because I don't know what I'm doing. I like to did you get an idea of what I'm doing. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> that's what she said. Um, okay.
Somehow I gotta figure out how to fit three of these in here. Now, for those of those of you who prefer to um, use a pencil and tell me this makes you feel uncomfortable, um, sometimes the best things that happen in life are the ones that feel you make you feel the most uncomfortable. So just. I don't like a pencil with an eraser, so if this ends up being close to what I'm doing, great. If it doesn't, oh, whoops, <laughs> whoops, don't worry, we'll figure that out. Um, I just skimmed, oh, that wasn't even, okay, I should have used one of the pens that I really love, but that was a Sharpie sitting right there, so I just did it. All right, who said sunset colors? I kind of love that. I heard teal, I heard white, I, oh, angel. Now I gotta really, really paint this because she already said she wants it. Oh, angel, what colors do you like? Why don't you ask the girl who already knows what she wanted before she even knew she wanted it? Yeah, what colors do you like? Can I pull the mic closer? Sorry, I cannot, but I can talk louder. Is that better? Okay. Don't worry. These will be zhuzhed up. I just needed something to start with. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Papa, can you hear me? I have a new singer that I'm completely obsessed with thanks to my parents. So I would like to thank the over 70 and 80 crowd. Oh, she's loving the blues. I love the blues too, girl. All right. So... Her name is Lucy Thomas. Oh, shoot. This is the Woodland set, but I was just looking for blues. They're just out of order and kind of funky right now. Uh, I'll, I'll fix this when I'm done. Here we go. Blues. You said blues. I left these out for a reason. Okay. I mean, the girl's got a request. The girl's got a request. So anyway, Lucy Thomas. And I know if, some, if all of you just say, I already knew who she was, I'm just going to be so bummed. I've listened all day to her, and I've been singing at the top of my lungs. And she's some young person. I absolute, oh my God, no, there's not, there's no particular song. I guess she sings with her sister. My parents gave me the whole backup situation. So, um absolutely in love all day on uh starts with uh, a and ends with an a if i say her what what is going on with my water that's already dirty anyway um a completely obsessed and i was just listening to her at the top of the volume and she does a lot of cover stuff i think she's very young but she sounds like a young so or she sounds like a celine dion which my parents love celine dion so um, and I do too. I love Celine. So that was very refreshing all day long. All day long. Um, I just, I just jammed to her music and I don't think the word jammed because I told my parents to listen to Cody Johnson. So we, we exchange movies and we, they're on my Netflix account. They don't know they're on my Netflix account. Um, they think that they're on it and I'm not paying for it but they don't want me to pay for anything that they do. Um, but I'm just paying for it, just added them as a user. And so we exchange movies and it's just something fun. And now we've started exchanging singers, which is even more fun. I know. Lucy Thomas. The reason I'm singing the Whitney Houston cover is because she just sang it right before I went on and, oh, now, you know, I, I just was obsessed all day and I was working and, and singing at the top of my lung, Lucy Thomas. So she said, blues, I'm gonna do, 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 do. just, just to have fun. Blues, she said. 
So I just pulled the current set out and I'm just going to go in and just A lot, there was some Barbara Streisand remix, there was Celine Dion, there was Whitney Houston. I mean, this girl can belt it out. Uh, yeah, uh, so with Netflix, I had too many users, and so I just decided to pay for my parents, but they were like, no, it's a problem, don't bother, we don't read, but I know they watch it, because they watch it more than I do. Uh, are you good with these colors? So I'm really big, uh, you know, I just love that we share. And now we've been all watching sports movies. Like that's what I do at night is I'll paint your art journals that you all want. Oh, you know what, um, Angel, I'm sorry. We got to drop some purple in there. We're just going to just dab some purple in there. I just felt like it needed a little bit of purple. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing is list. Oh, oh. Angel, you're going to get a hair across the, um, so I, I was listening to her all day long and I just was obsessed and I have to thank my parents. And by the way, if things don't move around, just do a little bit of that. Lift your book up. I will be using the markers, by the way. I love to share. I, I wish I could get on here and just play music and we just create to me because that's what my favorite thing is to do. But I can't actually do that because then there would be copyright infringement and I'm not into that. So it's not my jam. Just like I don't want my copyright infringed, I don't want to do it to somebody else. But uh, I just enjoyed my day listening to her, her all day long. My dad gave me like the whole, I think she was on some sort, oh, I think she was on some show. Like, uh, what do you call it? Like The Voice? I don't know. I don't watch any of that stuff. So. We're just mixing all the colors. We're just going to have some fun. Ooh, I guess these flowers don't have stems, do they? Well, they'll have stems by the time I'm done. So for my overthinkers out there who wonder, is this going to turn out because the colors are too mixed up? Um, just have fun. Uh, this is a half hour demo. And I, I want to reiterate the word demo uh, again. Sometimes I get emails saying I would appreciate if you would give me the list of products that you'll be using in advance. I don't know. Um, I don't know that because this is a demo. Uh, I get on here. It's a half an hour of painting. I, uh, I save the good stuff. We get together in your artful journey. I had so much fun on Monday. I literally had so much fun on Monday. I was talking to somebody and I said, I haven't had that much fun. Oh, it's Anne. I hadn't had that much fun just creating in so long. I mean, I, I have fun, but it was fantastic. Okay, she said blue, so I don't want to hurt her, but there's a lot of green in here. I know it. And for those of you who say... I can't control the colors. Well, my goodness, we don't have a lot of control over anything. Let the watercolors go. Did somebody want a white flower? Because I can do that too. But I was hoping there'd be a little color in here. But this background is kicking. Oh, now, oh, she loves white. Okay, cool. I'm just taking, this is like the midnight blue. I'm just going to take that across. Oh, 
Sorry. Evelyn says, how would I do it with watercolor? Well, Evelyn, I'm going to show you. Hope I put that tape down tight because I got a lot of water flowing. You got a lot of water flowing. By the way, I'm using a six round brush. I do have these brushes. I have to reorder just about everything. But I have to wait until tomorrow until I find out if I have uh, fit the amount of journals that are going to be coming. Somebody made a boo boo. Oh, thank you, Anne. By the way, Anne is like the biggest brainstormer in the world. She sends out these ideas into the universe. Were you so proud of yourself on Tuesday, Anne? Uh, you lit a spark in me, just so you know. I I so appreciate when we have we have my team meetings and I tell everybody there are no bad ideas. And I mean it. And holy macaroni, I needed somebody to kick the creativity into my shins, and they did. All right, let's let that dry. Because I can just sit here and add color all day long, and I don't want to do that. Okay. And by the way, I will not be using white and watercolors. That is the one I never use white. That is not my jam. But I feel like there it could be white in here if you want. They could all be white. And tomorrow I will put that restock of those art journals in once I figure out if the guy needs a pallet or a forklift to get them off the truck and put them somewhere. That made me a little nervous. I It's just me. Okay. We want this to dry. So we'll speed it up. Hair dryer, heat gun. Now I'm feeling like this should be yellow. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I think tonight I'm going to break my don't have a glass of wine in the midweek rule because I just had a day. I mean, not a bad day, just a day. And I would like it in the sense Oh, I, I get a lift gate. Yeah, that's not a thing. Yeah, uh, thank you. No, I, I get that. They give that already. But I used to have a pallet jack here, and so they knew that. But now I don't. So I sold it. It's taking up too much space. No, they do a lift gate. But they always ask if you have a forklift. They don't want to use the lift gate. And I used to have a pallet jack, but all right. I get deliveries at work for a living. So I just never think. When they called me, I was like, she goes, hey, this is so-and-so delivery for UPS. And I was like, why wouldn't UPS just pull up in a brown van with a guy in a brown outfit and a pair of shorts who looks kind of cute? And, and she's like, oh, no, we're the freight. For UPS. I'm like, why would I need freight? Why wouldn't they just put it in a box like UPS and they normally do? So that's why I'm nervous. I think there's going to be some situation where we're going to be having a big journal sale because instead of reading the correct quantity, I ordered twice. And, and the invoice was way more than I thought it was going to be. So the answer is, you know, it's probably just me. Just me. amount of stuff that it cost myself. All right, I really have to have these guys have some color. One of them can be white. I think this one will be white. These two need to have color because I'm just obsessed right now.
This guy is, oops, could we possibly rinse our brushes before we start? Sorry, rinsing my brush in clean water is not a prerequisite for painting. All right, it's, it's kind of like a just good luck, I hope it turns out. Now I just looked, the color of this is all jacked up, so let's move this. And let's just let this run. Let this run. Don't worry if the blues start going in the whatever. You can leave a little white gap. If it starts flowing in there, we'll be all right. I'll make this. I'll make this. This is for those of you who just don't know where to begin and you go, do I begin with a drawing? Do I begin with a, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. Begin where you feel the most comfortable. How about that? Uh, oh, goodness me. Uh, is this going to be red? No, that's going to be red. This is going to be. Let's make this one red. Oh, didn't really want that red to go sinking down there, but that's okay. Now, how many of you hit the ugly stage? Like, oh goodness, we are past the point of no return. Don't worry about that. We'll find it. We'll find it. Okay, now we need this to dry. Like I said, if this starts to get out of hand, just dry that off and pull it back. See how I'm pulling it back? Dry it off, pull her back. There we go. I don't care about that one. This palette is called Terrain, Karen, and I have that one in stock. Make sure you don't own it, bro. Who's painting with me tonight? Kind of force that dry. Oh, I love this. I, I actually love this palette. I I love the greens in it. Now I am gonna do something that I hope just doesn't ruin this, but oh oh I know what I'll do. I don't have any clean water, obviously. So so I'm just gonna do this. Come on. I just wanted to throw a dash of purple right here just just a dash oh 
love it when you guys paint with me. Okay, just a dash, just a dash of purple will do me. So I had like 15 orders last night and this morning I got up and the first thing I did was just like, I'm going to go bust a move. I think I got 10 of the 15, no, 11 because I have four left. Unfortunately, the shipping department is me too, so. I love it when you guys paint with me. So I just, even though this guy is still white, you know, this little guy, I just wanted a little bit of purple in here. Just so it just didn't look like it was stark white. I hope Angel's okay with that. But her name's Angel. She probably is like super nice. And then I'm just going to dry and back this up. So guess what? It's white. For those of you who thought I was going to use white watercolors, no, no need. Okay, put this aside. I do uh, upload everything to my website. So it's under free tutorials and I list all of the supplies I've used. So don't worry about that. I keep everything aside. Oh, now you want to make sure this is dry because uh, pens do not like, here we go. I do have my Molotov marker, markers out. I'm just going to grab that one. They There are 11 tips in this. So just remember that. My I have two sets here, so I'm just kind of rummaging through them. All right. I love these. Oh, yeah, I want that out. Painting along in Wisconsin. So, are you dry? Yeah, you're dry. Now I'm going to come in here. I'll just move this and I'll try to bump my hands aside. It's kind of hard when I'm drawing. I don't want to think of a point. So this is where I look at, somebody said, oh, I bought that set and I took all the, oops, that's wrong. I took all the lids off and I mixed them all up and I was like, oh goodness, but they're all marked there too. But I was laughing because she said, oh my God, I didn't realize they had the thicknesses on the lids. I was laughing so hard. Basically, her email said, how do you know what the thickness is? And I said, well, it's written on the barrel and then it's written on the lid. And she had mixed the lids up. So cute. I'm like, oh, goodness, you're going to be you're going to be asking me for a while. But no, she got them all fixed. Generally, I'll hold one. They'll be in my hand like so. And then I'll, um, I just leave them loose and then I'll just pull from the lids. Looks like a white flower to me. And we're going to throw a little bit of acrylic paint in here. Super Bowl weekend.
I really don't care who's playing um because my Detroit Lions are out but um I'm having friends over I got a new TV for Christmas I haven't had a new TV since uh maybe when I was in college because I brought my TV uh, I never really cared about I don't care about TVs but when you have a Super Bowl party you start to care because then people are like hey we'd like to all be able to see the screen so I am having people over and um it'll be fun because I've got I have something new I I don't really like watch I mean I watch like Peacock on my phone I just weird about stuff oops too thick which one is that oh that is like so kind of thought you know in the slight off chance I would be going to Vegas uh I definitely am excited about halftime and I am super excited about the commercials there is a I don't know what is going on but I'm obsessed with the is anybody seen the Lay's potato chips commercials with the guy in the register I think it was only Groundhog Day because he goes up and he's like repeating himself and it was a Groundhog Day series I don't know what it was, but I was obsessed with those commercials. And my friend, I kept saying, I kept calling. I'm like, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah. So I, I love commercials. So I'm just using, this is the point three. So I'm able to just skirt this across the top and it's not too dark. It's not too light. I'm gonna run to you. Do I ever use um, colored markers? I do mostly colored watercolors. I don't do a ton of like, I, I own some colors in the Posca pens. Um, I just don't like, I don't have the set of 952,000 Sharpies. I actually just prefer black. Um, these are actually, this black set, like I said, this is my main Right now, I probably could just go through. They last, they've lasted me forever. I mean, they do really good, and I abuse my pens. So I don't really have large quantities of um, colored, only colored watercolors or Tombos. I like Tombos too, but it's not my norm. I'm not like a marker. I, I don't do a lot of it. Some Posca paint pens, because I'd rather use acrylic paint if that is my, I like colored paint. But I love colored watercolors. We've used them in your Artful Journey. I have a membership group where we deep dive. This is just a free demo. I know a lot of people say, oh, you're done in like a half an hour. Well, no, we do other stuff in your Artful Journey. We don't just do... I make, uh, we talk about this, uh, if you're a member of your Artful Journey, what I encourage you to do is do Wednesday nights as a quick exercise. Now I'm just going to come in and fill in and make these, make these guys come alive. Uh, every month in your artful journey. So we've done watercolor pencils. We've done watercolor. Oh my goodness. We've done so much watercolor pencils, watercolor markers. We've done, we do different techniques. 
and we deep dive every month. We just had Creative Time Live on Monday, and it was probably one of my most favorite projects and most favorite techniques that I have never done. It was just an accidental technique. We are going to have stems off this, but I'm going to have to make these. Which one, Elizabeth? The watercolor markers? But Tommy asked me, any splatters today? Um, I could, but I was actually, oh, that's a thick pen right there. Um, mixing them up in my hand. Uh, I was actually thinking about something else, so bear with me. You guys have way better memory than I do, man. Oh, I always love when I start to do the shadowing on off the tape, and then I realize nobody's going to see that part. How are we doing? One, two, three. Yeah. Does this guy need a leaf? I hate having just four leaves. I like three, but this guy's bald. Yeah. I don't want that. Just a little guy right there. I usually keep them in order of size in my hand, so I just so I don't get them mixed up. Sometimes it happens. Come around to the door. See, one of them got mixed up. Point nine goes right there. We go. All right, let's grab. Oops, I gotta grab it out of my. Da -da -da. Actually running out, so let's see. This is acrylic paint. Just say, oh no, it's not. It's dry. There's nothing left. Hold on. I know I got another one somewhere. It's translucent. Open one. Here we go. I needed some white paint. Sometimes when it's this dark, it's good to throw some white in there. This month in your artful journey, we're doing um, violets. That's why I'm not painting violets. I heard two requests for violets. Nope, that's what we're doing. We just did a cool project last night. I never use content from your artful. I don't use that content for here because... Okay. I'm 
back to the uh, see i don't even use a pasta i could use a pasta right here you have a white pasta and you want to do that i i don't do that i like Man, I can't help myself when I know this is going to somebody. I just want to make sure that they're so happy. I'm going to go a little bolder on these. I'm going to commit to the leaves I was unsure about, but now I'm sure that they're there, so. Okay. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. All right. I kind of love the way the green goes up there, but now I'm thinking, yes, I could splatter it. Hmm. I'm thinking, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. By the way, I'm going to gloss this as far. I'm going to, I always seal my artwork. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking. A good splatter is good, but I really only want that over the flowers. Hmm. Hmm. really just want the splatter in here because if I were going to splatter up there it would be like the night sky but see these flowers would be curled up uh, I could splatter it actually I know what I'm going to do all right I am going to cover this so I don't jack it up and then I am going to uh oh I have paintbrushes in every. Okay, here we go. I have paintbrushes everywhere just because of what I'm doing. I always put these little shoe boxes that have my paint, like when I paint a project. So I'm going to do a little splatter splatter. Hopefully, not too much because I feel like I got a lot of water, but. So I have these little shoe boxes and they're everywhere. Okay. I'm going to do it. I really want to hit the good. 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 And then I'm going to do it in white. Do I want them down here? Hmm. I don't think I want them down there. I just decided I didn't want them down there. So I just did it up there, but now I'm going to do it in white. Okay. At least I think I'm going to do it in white. Oh, now I'm doing it white and black because my. Let's test that. Okay. Don't. If you notice it's not going on, like don't, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. Just, just, okay. Don't do too much. Don't do too much, Tracy. No need for too much. Let's spray this in a lovely glossy color. And then I'm gonna take this just dancing. I'm going to come in and just darken up the bottom a bit. Not the top so much. Mark your calendar. The next art challenge is going to be in March. So guess yours truly. Daisy's at desk with little stars coming. 
Uh, Anne, could you please email me daisies at dusk, please? Because I needed a name for this. These are angels, daisies at dusk. Okay. There's our name. Sometimes it just hits me. I mean, now I want this to dry and then I'm going to, I'm going to actually, uh, spray what's in the tin. Oh, this is just uh, archival ink stamp pad. It's not a tin. Yeah. Do I want even more up in here? Oh, no, just leave it. It's, I just want more because I can't do anything without overdoing it. I'm a Taurus. We overdo everything. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we overdo everything. Harry Wheatley, we do paint on denim tomorrow night. I can't wait to remove the tape. Let's just hope I put the tape down strong. Angel, this one's for you, girl. I'm gonna run to you. Mm -hmm. All right. I will make sure that I list all of the supplies, including the sealer that I'm using, which is a deco art. Ooh, I don't want to use a brush on sealer. Well, guess what would happen? <coughs> if I use a brush on sealer, it'll reactivate the watercolors. Now use this in a well ventilated area and follow the manufacturer's instructions. I seal everything. I paint especially for those of you who buy from me because if you want your artwork to end forever angel loves it bum, 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 oh i hope i really adhered this because this tape is a crinkle all right ready freddy let's take care of the tape so far so good so far so good i was kind of worried about that I'm heating up the tape, makes it come off easier. Oh, love me a good bond on a tape. Lucy Thomas. Lucy, uh, I will list all of my supplies on my website. Usually it comes out by next Tuesday. Shoot, everything is listed. Video, everything. Okay. Now, make sure to sign your artwork. If you're proud of it and you know it, sign your artwork. All right. I'm getting giddy. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Hold on. I'm looking for one of the 5,000 pens that I threw back in my bin. Okay. Oh, that is an awfully thick pen. Must I sign it like that? Okay. You should work. Oh, now that's too thin. <laughs> I want candy. Okay. There we go. We're done. I will put aside all of the supplies that I use. It'll all be listed on my website with a, I usually hyperlink everything. So, you know, and I'll put those in order, including the watercolors I used. And Angel, this book is for you, my love. Okay. Okay. It's 6.34. I ran over four minutes, but that's not bad for me. Oh. Uh, where do I put this? Uh, there you go. By the way, next Wednesday is Valentine's Day. Yours truly, not a big Valentine. I'm not going to go live because I feel many of you may be out doing romantic, uh, getaways with your loved ones which is totally appreciated as for me if i'm just hanging out and doing nothing i will literally go live just last minute but my plan is not to go live because i would like a wednesday off 
And um, I understand you have romantic plans. I'm going to the VFW on Saturday night for a lovely steak dinner. <laughs> um, and um, I'm, not, I'm not a big Valentine's go out there, pay super amounts of money for um, food that I could get the next day at a cheaper rate. Uh, so I will not be live. Um, but if I happen to be at home, I'll go live. Uh, but I, right now as of what I have planned, I'm just going to take the night off and y'all can go do your Valentine's stuffy with one another. Uh, and then I'll be back the following Wednesday. Okay. But like I said, if I happen to be laying around going, Oh, I miss everybody and I want to paint, which happens so often. I'll go live or I'll go outside and design stuff. But I used to go do it, but now it's just become so crazy that you pay for some set menu and it's super crowded and I got to deal with tons of people. And I don't really do that well with tons of people. So I am going to go to the VFW on Saturday night with my friends and we're all paying $20 for a steak dinner and, uh, Supporting my vets. That's what I'm doing. Uh, tell me, can I request a jelly plate session sometime? We'll do that in your artful journey. I don't typically do that for a Wednesday demo night. We can do that in your artful journey, though. I'm happy to do that. That's just too, um, yeah, too much. All right. Any wonderful Valentine's Day, no matter who your Valentine is, even if your Valentine is just you, because that's the best Valentine to have. Or Galentines. Um, by the way, when I was in college, my girlfriend and I, we used to do Galentines all the time, but it wasn't called Galentines. It was called, we are two single losers who like to get together and drink. And we would have a really good time starting at lunch. It was kind of like the sex in the city type you know, craziness. And then we would just hang out together and uh, just like talk about all the couples around us. <laughs> so we were galantining before galantines was cool. I'll see you guys. Um, for those of you who are doing the denim class with me tomorrow, it actually starts at 4.30. Um, I will do my best to be there. I'm always on time normally. Uh, thank you very much for saying my flowers were beautiful, beautiful. If you'd like to sign up for the denim class, you still can. And I will see you guys all soon. Thank you. Happy painting.